Council Chambers is festively turned out for the holiday, but for five lawmakers, there's a lump of coal in the stocking. State Auditor Keith Babers recommended criminal prosecution in the Gang of Five text message mess. He's referred the case that refuses to go away back to prosecutor Joe Dieters. I know some of the people involved, and I think some of them are pretty good people, but they were just not smart about this and should not have done what they did. Earlier this year, it seemed over and done with. In a settlement, the five acknowledged they conducted public business privately by texting each other about whether to fire the city manager, a decision that should have only played out in the public eye, according to Ohio's Sunshine Law. Wendell Young, let's bounce the sucker. Chris Seelbach, Cranley could be lying to me, would never trust him for a second. Again, Seelbach, but told me Smitherman, Murray, and Mann are definite yes to fire. Again, Young, I won't say anything either, but we know Cranley doesn't mind lying about anything. There's a serious concern about the juvenile nature of the, the governance there. Local GOP Chair Alex Triantafila rejects any assertion of politics playing a role, as alleged by the local Democratic Party, which stated the state auditor is trying to make a name for himself in Cincinnati. The five include P.G. Sittenfeld, who has mayoral ambition. He and the other four will be watching now for what a special prosecutor, Pat Hanley, determines. I'm sure they're very upset. But there's nothing I can do, and Pat, I think, will um, do it as quickly as he can. And I spoke with Pat Hanley, who was an assistant U.S. attorney here for 20 years about an hour ago. He tells me he just literally started receiving documents related to the case this afternoon. And given the holiday season, he says he will start in earnest on this right after the first of the new year. Live at City Hall, John London, WLWT. News 5.